Hello my friends and uh, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a vlog. It has been a while since I haven't posted anything on this channel and the reason is that I've just lost my routine actually. I've been traveling in on October and then I got sick. I got some kind of flu or I don't know. It was not COVID but it was a bit hard like it was the first time I get that sick that I couldn't just do anything. I basically spent two weeks just staying at home, not doing anything. Working, yeah, a little bit because I have to, but with very minimal energy. Then I traveled again, I went to Tunisia, and when I got back, I just lost the routine, you know, I just lost the momentum. So, yeah, I didn't keep track with anything in my life and didn't go to the gym. I missed a lot of dance classes, and now I'm just trying to get back to it really slowly. And therefore, I wanted to make this video a vlog because I didn't get the time to script any new video and I just want to talk from the heart this time about a little bit about my life and about what I'm going through right now and that's why the topic of this video will be how to deal with change because I feel that change is really inevitable and since we are at the end of the year and many people just start reflecting on the past year and just setting resolutions for the new year I thought that maybe I'm gonna make this video about how to deal with change because we all have a plan we all want the year to go a certain way but then life happens and certain things don't go your way and you have to be able to deal with that and just be gentle with yourself and slowly get back to your path and to the way that you plan things so we're gonna talk about this and I'm gonna take you with me uh, on a day off it's a Saturday and you're just gonna see how I spend my Saturday so now I'm going to grab a croissant and I'm going to make an omelette and probably just practice before my dance class and we'll see so so if I'm talking a little bit weird it's because I have my Invisalign so yeah usually I remove them when I make videos but this time I didn't so here you go Since I work really hard, I deserve treats. Okay, so let's talk about dealing with change. I think I am the kind of person that some people might describe as boring because I like a good routine, I like things going a certain way, I don't like uncertainty and I just like to know what to expect and to know where I'm heading. And that might be a little bit boring sometimes and also against the very principle of accepting change. Because for me, good things or great things come from consistency. And anything big or worth having is a result of regularity and persistent and doing the same things over and over again however change is necessary it's part of life and we can't avoid it and sometimes when i experience some changes in my life i just tend to resist it at first because i want things to keep going the way they are and i decided to talk about this topic it's because this is the end of the year and many of us like to reflect on the past year and see what we did right what we did wrong what we can do better uh how was it and i realized that the person i was in general is really different from the person I am today which I guess it's normal and it's mainly because of all the changes that I went through during this year and even though change is so hard when it happens sometimes when you reflect back you're so happy it did and it even makes sense sometimes there is this saying that goes that everything makes sense backwards and I think it's true actually when a major life change happens your brain automatically sees it as negative regardless of the nature of the change positive or negative and this is called the uncertainty bias and that's because any change will alter your once comfortable life so you're put out of your comfort zone and you don't know how to handle or cope with the new situation so how can we deal with
will change. The first step, and it's the obvious one, yet the hardest one, and it is acceptance. So accept that things have changed and that they won't ever be as before. Maybe you lost a job, maybe you lost a loved one, maybe you have to relocate geographically, or any other life changes that can happen to any of us. It might not be your fault or your decision, but it is your responsibility to deal with it. Part of growing up, I think, is accepting that life is constantly changing and that there are a lot of things that we can't control. So take as much time as you need to accept the new situation and try to embrace the feelings you're having during this transition. There is no way you get through this period if you keep ignoring or avoiding your feelings. So let yourself be as angry and as upset that things are changing, but eventually you have to accept that they are. And that way you can grow and move on. The second tip, and this is a very important one, is to have the right mindset. And by this, I mean being positive and flexible. When a major life change happens, try to find a small positive outcome that you can have or try to find the opportunity that this change is bringing you. There is always a little small bright side to anything that you can look at. And if you can't find anything positive about this change, try to find something familiar in your life that is still stable, that haven't changed. So, you know, at least you have this one and focus on that. Try to keep as many daily habits as you can. Try to keep doing the things that you love. Uh, keep talking to the same people and just keep doing the things that make you happy. This can help you ease the stress you're going through during this transition and make it easier to adapt. The third tip is put things into a new perspective. Try to look outside your situation and you'll see that everything is in movement. The whole world is changing and many times in unexpected ways. So go for a walk in nature, observe things, observe people and practice mindfulness. So this might make your thing seem smaller or at least manageable. The last tip is it's okay to feel uncomfortable with how things are going. Life comes with so many milestones and changes. There will be highs and there will be lows. So you have to train your brain to deal with changes. And the good news is the more changes you deal with, the easier it will be to deal with change in the future since it is inevitable. However, of course, if it gets too overwhelming and you feel so much anxiety and depression, don't hesitate to ask for help from your supporting group or a professional therapist. That was all for me, guys, for this topic. I hope it was interesting for you and you like this new format of videos. Please let me know what you think in the comments below. And as of the rest of my day, I'm meeting a friend for dinner and then we'll go into the cinema to watch a movie. And so that's it. That was my Saturday. I hope you enjoyed spending it with me. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Thank you.